Mm -hmm. Like that's impossible. And so everyone's going to tell you, you know, no, you can't do this or you can't you can't have a radio show or you can't, uh, you know, do whatever. But you, you just have to everyone, everyone who's successful goes on the other side of all the people who tell them they can't do it. If they just stay on the same side as the people who say can't, then you're going to be one of those people. You, you have to go in the room that, that's least crowded, the room where there's nobody else, and that's how you find your success. I wonder, do you become a billionaire by saying you want to be a billionaire? I think that's part of it because that's a pretty big number to go for. Yeah. Like, you know, I remember uh, Peter Thiel, who started PayPal, and he was the first investor in Facebook. I, I talked to him, and I asked him, when when Facebook, you know, Microsoft offered Facebook a billion dollars, Mark Zuckerberg was 24 years old and would have made 200 million dollars as a 24 year old. I would never say no to that. Who who would say no to that? And Peter Thiel said we all wanted Mark Zuckerberg to take it, but Mark was like, well, what would I do? I would take this 200 million dollars and then I would just build a social network. Well, I already have a social network called Facebook, so wow. he didn't take it, and now he's worth whatever, 50 billion dollars. Wow. 